Okay, so you want to use Pop or IMAP inside of your Gmail account. Windows Live Hotmail or MSN Hotmail, I don't, whatever you call it, still Hotmail, already has Pop enabled by default, I believe. So I am not going to be signing into my normal Gmail account, but I'm going to be logging into Bronco Mail, which is still a form of Gmail. As long as you have your, pass your Google password set right here for a Google Apps account, you'll maybe need to ask your system administrator or help desk or something to figure that out. Uh, you have to have a Google password, not like just a logon password, because it will automatically kick you into Gmail without actually putting in the Gmail password. I'm not sure how that works, it just does. Alright, so to turn on POP or IMAP or, IMAP or POP access, you go up into settings and in a Gmail account. And then we go to forwarding and pop slash IMAP. And you can enable or disable IMAP. Um, if you're going to be using one of these, I recommend using IMAP because IMAP is just better in every way. Um, yes. Yes. I suppose. And that. Just leave it pretty much as the defaults. That's pretty much it. And then I haven't made any changes, so I can't hit save changes. But after you do that, you will be able to start logging in through IMAP or POP. And that is how you do that. I believe Windows Live Hotmail already has it configured. And here are the settings for your AOL mail, if you use AOL mail. If it doesn't automatically do it for you, I don't have an AIM or AOL account, so these are the settings that you would manually put in if it does not automatically set it up for you. And those covers the major email providers that allow you to use it. Alright, if you're thinking of getting a Yahoo mail account, don't, because it's like the dial-up of today. I would get a Gmail. So that is how you set it up. And good day.